Chris, his right hand over the wall. I've been asking the Lord Commander about them. Fascinating stories. They hate me because I'm better than they are. It's a lucky thing. None of them are trained by master at arms like your Sir Rolex. I don't imagine any of them have ever held a real sword before they came here. Oh. Your brother Bran. He's woken up. The mere suggestion that the Queen's brother tried to kill your boy would be considered treason. But we have proof. We have the blade. Which Lord Tyrion will say was stolen from him. The only man who could say otherwise has no throat, thanks to your boy's wolf. Peter has promised to help us find the truth. He's like a little brother to me, Ned. He would never betray my trust. I'll try to keep you alive for her sake. A fool's task, admittedly, but I've never been able to refuse your wife anything. I won't forget this. You're a true friend. Don't tell anyone. I have a reputation to maintain. How could you be so stupid? Calm down. He's a child. Ten years old. What were you thinking? I was thinking of us. You're a bit late to start complaining about it now. What has the boy told them? Nothing. He said nothing. He remembers nothing. Then what are you raving about? What if it comes back to him? He tells his father what he saw. We'll say he was lying. We'll say he was dreaming. We'll say whatever we like. I think we can outfox a ten-year-old. And my husband? I'll go to war with him if I have to. They can write a ballad about us. The war for Cersei's cunt. <coughs> Let me go. Let me go. The boy won't talk. And if he does, I'll kill him. Him and start the king the whole bunch out of them until you and I are the only people left in this world. I wish I could see the girls. It's too dangerous. Just for a moment. Until we know who our enemies are. I know they did it, Ned. The Lannisters in my bones, I know it. Little thing that's right. 